And we're back with another video. So, the sunglasses showed up from FreePrescriptionLenses.com and uh, CMO Beta and Mr. Jigsaw. Big thanks to both of those guys. This is pair one of two. The second pair, the eyeglasses, uh, are still pending. Um, let's go ahead and take a quick look at them. Ironically, even though it's sunny, Palm Coast, Florida, not today. It's overcast. We've been getting lots of rain today, so a little cool front moving through. Going to cool it down a little more. Uh, but we can still try them on, verify the uh, prescription a bit, looking outside, and see what they look like. So without further ado, let's co-protect these bad boys. Co-protect. There we go. Shipped in a nice tight container. Giggity. <sighs> Is that enough to get that? Uh... Well, we don't care about destroying this box. Here we go. Oakley. So, let's go ahead. Here's the invoice. Here's my prescription info. Let me save that because that's good to have. Selfie request. <laughs> now that you've seen that I like to include picture, yes, I will take a selfie. He puts customer photos so people can see what I'll tell you what, it was uh he had a customer. It was a larger dude. Uh, I believe he was a police officer. He is a police officer. And uh, and I was talking to uh Jigsaw because I was trying to verify what different frames would look on my head, because it's a bit on the bigger side. People have different shaped faces and heads, so that actually helped me make the decision that the dead cords are probably a good call when I originally wanted the shock tubes. Let's check them out. Oh yeah, America, baby. Yeah, let's see what's this. These are the original tinted lenses that came with them and some paperwork. So go ahead box these up I wish they came with a hard case even if they have to tack on a little more like an Oakley branded hard case I think years ago they used to now only the eyeglasses do it'd be cool if I had like an Oakley brand I'm sure you can buy them anyway let's uh, check these out man oh he double bagged them thanks bud look at that red white and blue and white. <laughs> oh, and they're... Wow, you guys will all out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's kind of hard to see. Now, they're not super, super dark. I didn't want... Total, they have different types of uh, finishes, like a true, like a mirror finish, but I didn't want that for lots of reasons. Look at that, man. That's so cool. All right, so I guess I'll use, uh, well, I can't see what they look like personally. I'll just point this at my face, and then I'll look in the mirror. Now the eyes on the new, much better than the last sunglasses. It's it's progressive lens, so how you look and where you look in them, night and day better than the uh, for gray bands that I had. My eyes are doing, they're not bugging out like they were in the ray bands though. There's a slight, because it's, it's a new prescription, so the eyes are kind of... Slowly trying to adjust. But not like the other pair, they were bugging out. Like, you know, they were like confused. Not with these. So I'd say the prescription on these types of lenses, and they're not as much of a wraparound frame, lends much better uh, than what the Ray Bands accomplished. Let me try to read some small print. That's fine. Now let me hold this up. Oh, 
I'm looking over at the house across the street. Pretty clear. Palm Coast sign looks good. Badger Ordnance, Psionics, Aurora, EOTech all look fine. Now they're a little dark because I'm inside and it's overcast, so there is going to be a bit of tint. So it's, but everything looks good. As far as on my face, they feel good. They're not, they're not falling off. Um, I like to be able to see what I look like, though. Hold on, bear with me just a minute. Them Terminator vibes all day, every day. I'll be back. Cool. Yeah, the fit's really great, man. And the big bonus, these are ballistic rated. It's got the laser mark on them. So they are completely ballistic. So they're safe to take to the range. They have some nice side coverage. And they fit pretty close to the face. So the chances on a round, like a casing, finding its way are pretty much zero. If that, I doubt that would ever happen. But I have noticed when I go to the, the club with the guys... And we're shooting steel within like 20, 15, 20 yards. You get some small smacking back at you, depending if the steel's not angled, uh, you know, forward enough. And I've been hit by some spall, you know, over here, over here in the chest. And, you know, that's hot fucking metal flying back at you at a fast rate of speed. You need something to protect you. As far as the prescription, I mean, they're a touch loose this way. I wish they were a touch a bit kind of tighter, you know, but they're perfectly comfortable. And they're so big, I can barely see the frame at all. Only if I roll my eyes downward and, and like, you know, to the left or the right. Everything is pretty much a big, giant, clear window, which is awesome. Red, white, and blue, baby. America! So, I mean, <laughs> thank you guys. The guys at freeprescriptionlenses.com, Seymour and Jigsaw, will take care of you. Go to their website. Any questions, there's a contact, the ability to, to call and or send an email, I believe. Um, and I'm sure you'll talk to Jigsaw if that's the case, if Seymour's, you know, busy. Jigsaw is a great dude. Really helped me out. And these deck cords, they're they're sick, dude. I love them. And they're solid. And they're nice and low profile. America! <laughs> I'm happy. Finally got a good pair of glasses. I would like to pick up a hard case. I do have a few hard cases that might fit them. You know what? Where's that green case I had? I might just use that for when I'm because I don't soft bags, eh? It's breakable. You know? You put something on them, you forget. Uh I mean they're Oakleys. Odds are they're not gonna break, but let me see what I have for a hard case until we can find a nice Oakley branded red, white, and blue case would be sick. Alright, this was in the gun room. Some cheesy thing I picked up a while back for another pair of glasses. Because it was green. A little sparkly. I don't care. A little dirty, but it's okay. Let's see if these will fit. Yeah. Alright, so we got a good hard case for now. And I'll just use this. But if I find a cool one that's Oakley branded, I'll scoop it up. But at least we have something to take with me. Especially in the truck, you know. If you're out and it's getting dark... You swap over to the soon-to-be-arriving Holbrook XLs. I'd rather have them in a nice hard case so they're, they're properly protected rather than a soft, as cool as it is, 
a soft case doesn't really protect them from abuse now these are a touch dirty so what I'm going to do is we have a dedicated lens cleaner and I you know, we give that, and we have a clean, recently opened uh, microfiber. Let's give those a little wipey wipey. Nice and clean. There we go. And do the same on the outside. There we have it. So, that would be the, I forget the numeric code, the four digit code, but those are debt cords cool blue mirror lenses with progressive uh, with the red, white, and blue Oakley flag. And they're not as dark. I wish they were a touch kind of darker when you're looking in. Um, I wasn't aware of the, how transparent they were at the time that I said, oh, cool color. So maybe... A little more opaqueness would be cool, but at the same time, as far as how dark they are, they seem great. It's not sunny outside, but so, but definitely much darker than those shitty Ray Bans were. And I hate to say that because Ray Ban makes good glasses. The ones I had just my prescription didn't work in them. And another problem I found really quickly when I got them is they were so close to the face and so wrap around. There was no gap, so they would fog up very quickly. And I was like, oh, man, really? Is that happening? So I'm glad I returned them, got the credit. I'm glad I found freeprescriptionlenses.com. Uh, these will serve me well, both in daily life and especially daytime shoots at the range and or club, wherever I may go. I think they look good. I think they fit my, my head size pretty well. Can't really see, but... Uh, in the mirror, they look decent, so we're going to rock them. Thanks again, guys. Jigsaw, Seymour, appreciate it. Can't wait to get my Holbrook XLs when they're done. And I can see clearly in the, uh, not in the sun. And that's about it for this one. Tune in next time. Your boy, Jake Merica. Only side note is that turns out the threads on that other Holosun 403B are fine. I think I had the wrong screws or something. I threw it on my SAR PCC. So, whatever, it's cool. So, so now that's the dedicated SAR dot. Uh, that works. So that worked out fine as well. All right, that's about it. Till next time, boys. Peace. Just walked outside. It's not sunny, but it's brighter than inside the house. I can read everything pretty pretty well. There is a bit of a on a new progressive uh, prescription. But there is a little bit of time that it takes, maybe a day or two. But my eyes aren't bugging out like they were with the other ones. You know, they're slightly going in and out of focus a bit when I'm looking around. And my eyes and my brain are like, yeah, okay, we've got to figure this out. So overall. Pretty damn good, lads. Pretty damn good. America.